Did you know your Fire Stick can do way more than Amazon tells you? There's a hidden method that gives you access to over 60 powerful streaming apps, all with a simple secret code. And today I'm showing you how to unlock that code step by step. I'll also demonstrate two amazing apps, one completely free and one premium app that delivers 4K live TV, 4K movies and even pay-per-view events. But here's the deal. The most important part comes after installing these apps. If you skip it, you'll definitely run into buffering and freezing. So watch closely till the very end. All right, let's start with step number one. Head over to your home screen on any Fire TV device and find the search magnifier, this icon right here. Now scroll down and click confirm on the search bar. The keyboard will open up and you're gonna type in downloader, D O. And as you can see, when we scroll down, downloader is already in the suggestions. Highlight it and click confirm. You'll be taken right here and it's gonna be the first app you see with the orange and white. Click confirm. And in this menu, you wanna click confirm once again to start the downloading and installation process. All you have to do right now is just to wait patiently. Now when downloader is finished installing, you can now press the return button and you'll be returned back to the home screen. Now let's go to the next step. We wanna go and enable developer options. Don't worry, I'll walk you through the whole process. It's very easy. What we'll first have to do is enter our settings on our device. The easiest way to do this is heading over to the top right corner on your home screen, this icon right here. Now, when you're there, you wanna scroll down until you find my device or my Fire TV. It's highlighted right here. Click confirm on it and you'll be taken to this menu. Now you see I have developer options. If you don't, that's totally fine. I'm gonna show you right now how you can enable it too. You might also notice that I have a USB drive. That's because I've connected a USB stick to my Fire Stick. Now in the top menu, you have about. Click confirm to enter it. In here, we're highlighted on Fire TV Stick 4K Max. For you, it might say a different name depending on the Fire TV device you have. That's totally fine. What you'll have to do is press the confirm button on your remote control eight times to become a developer. After eight times, you will become one. Now just click the confirm button until you see congratulations, you are now a developer. As you can see, I'm currently already a developer. Now after you've pressed it eight times, you can press the return button and you will now see the developer options appearing. Enter it. And the first thing you wanna do here is you wanna enable ADB debugging. Just click the confirm button, just like that, and that's done. Now you wanna scroll down, highlight install unknown apps, and click confirm on the remote control. And you wanna scroll down until you highlight downloader and click confirm to enable install unknown apps through the downloader app. Now that's done and we can press the home button and we'll be taken back to the home screen. Now we're gonna find the downloader app. And the easiest way to do that is by heading over to your apps. And you can find your apps icon right here. Click confirm on it and you'll find the downloader app and any latest app you install always at the very end. Click confirm to enter the app. And the first time opening it up, you can click confirm to allow. It will hide this message and click confirm once again to also hide this message. Go ahead and scroll up until you're at the search bar. Click confirm on the remote control and type in this code, 234753. Three. Highlight go and click confirm. Wait patiently for downloader to connect with the application and you might see this message pop up or not, but all you have to do is scroll with the cursor until you're on top of the accept button right here and click confirm on it. So you might receive that pop-up or you might not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And after that, just wait patiently. After it's done, it's gonna pop up this menu to install the application. All you have to do is scroll down and scroll to the right to highlight install and click confirm on the remote control. That's it, now it's installing and it's already done. So we're not gonna open it up just yet. Click confirm on done. Delete the file so you'll free up some space. Press the home button on your remote control and head over back to your settings gear on the home screen. Top right corner, right there. And go to my device or my Fire TV. And you wanna enter developer options again. Enter install unknown apps. And toggle on the app we just installed. Just like that, that's it. Press the home button 
and let's go and find the application we just installed in your apps all the way in the end. There you go. And click confirm on it. Now, before entering the secret library code, it's really important to get the VPN. Not only does the VPN keep you safe and protected while you're online, it also lets you see much more links and content that your internet provider is blocking. This means you can find lots of more cool stuff in this app and other apps you use. Using a VPN also keeps your online activities private, so no one can see what you're doing. This makes your streaming experience much better. And if you don't have a VPN, this app won't work right because your internet provider blocks access to it. So make sure to get the VPN, scan the QR code or visit the link in the description. Now let's click confirm on add a new library and click confirm once again and it's going to pop up the keyboard and we're going to type in the secret code you've been waiting for. It's going to be fire tweaks. Exactly how I'm typing it over. Make sure you do it correctly. Fire tweaks. Just like that. Now highlight next and click confirm. Now it's going to load up this library. Now as you enter the secret code, you'll be greeted by a welcoming message. Now if you're truly looking to cut the cord and free yourself from all the excessive prices, take a moment to read the welcoming message. You won't regret it. I use it every day. There's a link in there. Visit it. Don't miss out. Now if you're ready, you can click confirm and you'll enter the library. Now we're getting to the good stuff. After entering the secret code, you've officially unlocked a hidden library packed with over 60 exclusive apps. This is the same code I use myself and it's by far the easiest and most effective one I've ever shared. The moment you enter, you'll be greeted with a welcoming message along with my personal recommendations. These are the top services and apps I personally use. Now scroll down twice to reveal all available categories from live sports to blockbuster movies and adult content, news, international channels and more. It's all here and everything is organized to make it super simple to browse and find what fits your needs. Clicking on any app gives you a dedicated description so you always know what you're installing. And don't forget to check the number one top apps category to find the very best ones I personally recommend. Now I want you to scroll down all the way down until you find YouTube category. Here's where I'm going to demonstrate installing two apps from this library. Now remember, after we install them, there's still the very last step we need to do so you won't experience any buffering or freezing. I'll first show you the free one that's going to be this one right here. Click confirm on the remote control and once again to start the downloading process. Now this might take a moment or two, just wait patiently. But remember, don't open these apps yet. We gotta fix that last step. After it's finished, it's automatically gonna pop up the installation button. This one right here. Click confirm once again, and you'll be taken right here, highlight install and click confirm. Now that's finished. And we can continue to my personal favorite, the 4K premium app. This app delivers 4K live channels, on-demand content and more. Click confirm, click confirm once again, and you'll be taken to the same process. Just wait patiently for this to get finished so you can get into that installation process. And it's gonna pop up this button, just click confirm. You'll be taken right here, highlight install, click confirm, and that's it. That's how easy it is to install any apps from this app library. Now let's continue to the most important step. If you press the home button, you'll find the apps we just installed in your app section in the very end. Now, before you open them or install anything else, there's one final step that's absolutely critical. Here's the thing. People always experience buffering, freezing, or even total blocks when using apps outside the official Amazon App Store. That's because your internet provider can throttle or restrict your connection. That's why I always turn on my VPN. It hides what you're doing, unblocks content, and removes that annoying buffering for good. Now let me show you how easy it is to set it up. I'll walk you through downloading the VPN, logging in, and connecting in just a few seconds. It works automatically in the background and protects everything. All you have to do is follow along in this last phase. If you're in the US, Canada, or in the UK, you might receive something like this from your internet provider 
after using certain apps. Your browsing activity and the apps you use are fully visible to your internet provider, putting your privacy at serious risk. To make sure this doesn't happen to you, you need a reliable VPN like IPVanish. I'm going to show you how to get the best deal and walk you through installing and using it on your Fire Stick. I've chosen IPVanish because it ranks as one of the best and most affordable VPNs. Plus you can install it on all your devices with no limitations on the number of devices. This is by far my top recommendation when it comes to keeping you 100% safe and secure while enjoying apps like these. And not only that, it will also bypass all those restrictions your internet provider is putting on your devices. Now, before I open any of these apps, I always make sure my VPN is turned on. Now I'm going to make it super easy for you to get one. All you need to do is open any browser on your phone, tablet or PC and go to this website. You can also take out your camera and scan the QR code. Additionally, I'll also leave the link in the description. Now on this website, you'll see an exclusive discount. Choose your plan or just try it for one month. Complete your purchase, and once you do, they'll email you with a confirmation with your username and password. After that, you're ready to secure your Fire Stick. On your Fire Stick, go to the home screen, then find the search icon. Scroll down and click on the search bar. And when the keyboard pops up, type in IPVanish. Select the app from the list. In this menu, click download to start the downloading and installation process. Once installed, go to the home screen, click on all apps icon right here, Scroll down and find the IPVanish app. Click the menu button on the remote control, select move and place the app all the way to the top. Click confirm, now open the IPVanish app and log in with your username and password. Now before we hit connect, I wanna show you a few settings. Scroll down and select the settings gear. You'll see a menu appear on the other side of your screen. Now I've highlighted where it says connect on Android startup. If I click the confirm button and turn this on, you won't have to worry about turning on your VPN every time you power up your device. The VPN will connect automatically so you won't have to interrupt your movie to check if it's on. It'll do it for you. IPVanish also offers split tunneling, which lets you choose which apps use the VPN. This is perfect for keeping local apps showing local content when needed. It allows you to route some of your apps or network traffic through the VPN while other local apps access the internet directly without going through the VPN. And here you'll also have easy access to your account information and you can contact support if you have any questions or concerns. All right, now hit the return button and select connect. You might see a pop-up asking if you're sure if you wanna to connect to the VPN. Just click okay. Give your system a moment, and once you see your country light up in green, you know you're protected. You also see a timer showing how long you've been connected. Now that that's done, simply click the home button on your remote control. The VPN will continue to run in the background, keeping you safe and secure. Now you can use any of these applications and enjoy unrestricted content while staying anonymous. No more internet provider letters ruining your day. And that's it. Your Fire Stick is now fully loaded and protected. You've unlocked secret apps installed powerful streaming tools and secured your connection the right way. If you grab the VPN through my link, thank you. You are helping support the channel so I can keep bringing you these tips and tools. Let me know in the comment section if you want more app codes or if you found a new favorite app from the library. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.